Ruffian Records. Ask the street. So what's up, what's up, my good people? My name is Mr. Rafimas. smart farm we also have these types of midget purples they really grow very big purples you understand and it's short you see that that is a very very big purple mm -hmm. and it's still young so we also have a model farm where we have purples we have planted purples we have more coconut trees as we go around, these are major coconut trees. You understand? So, let me take you also. In the farm, in this farm, this is where Kilifi County comes and shows the farmer how to grow. We also have maize. We also have maize planted here. A lot of maize, very nice. Those are cassava. We also have cassava. These are uh, popos. Popos. We also have popos, the same major popos. Same, same midget purple. Now, I want you guys to have a look around. When did you check you up here? When did you check you at Dungone? Where? In Malindi? Which county? Kilifi County! Hola, hola, hola. So all this. This is the way to go. People are doing something called smart farming. Whereby you get products that can grow easily they can grow very fast at a very fast rate so that they can give you quick returns this is the way to go if you're a farmer i see you've also put like some uh, irrigation there are pipes inside here uh, here i'll show you and these lights are fully solar we also have a sprinkler system inside there you see this here right here this is a sprinkler system all right a very powerful sprinkler system that sprinkles water all around supplied by that pipe you see so all this piping all this piping is supposed to supply water so i want to take you guys to a very special place in this smart farm we also build a mijikenda museum we have a museum in the smart farm Purpose. Good variety, maize variety. You see, we still have these pipes are also used to supply water for irrigation. Yeah. Welcome to the smart farm. Twenty to check you up here. Twenty to check in Madunguni. Where? In Malindi. So this is home. This is where I grew up. This is where I went to school. My first schooling was in this village. When I tell you I am a village boy, 
I'm not a city boy. I just come to the city to make my money and conquer them. You see, these are solar. Everything is solar powered in this farm. We have solar powered security lights. We have a solar powered Wi-Fi security camera. And you see this installation? This is a museum. This is a Michigan museum. We built a museum in the so that we can store a bit of our history. Yeah. Guys, welcome to our small museum at home. This is the lounge area whereby when you come, you will find these traditional Swahili and Mijikenda seats made out of wood. We have also put a little bit of modern seats so that when you come and visit this smart farm, you can relax, chill, feel free, breathe. You can see even the deco is Makuti. Uh, these come from the coconut trees. All these come from the coconut trees. Now, let me tell you a little bit about these artifacts. In the olden days, when we needed to make ugali and unga, we put maize here, maize was put in the middle, and then that process was done like that. You understand? That's how you grind. If you want to know about the Mijikenda people, our history, this book is called The Kaya Complex, a history of the Mijikenda peoples of the Kenya coast to 1900s, written by Thomas Spears. It's one of the books that uh, chronologically tells the story of the Mijikenda, how we came to have all our sub tribes and our subgroups and our sub clans. All are. Now, when you come here, this this artifact here is used to to remove coconut puree. Let me call it that for the coconut the coconut from from the shell it's remove you get the coconut and you use it like that use to remove the coconut from the shell and then you put the coconut inside here when you want to get the coconut juice and squeeze when you squeeze the coconut juice comes from this so this is a squeezer a coconut juice squeezer all right this beautiful artifact here is also used to pound vegetable maize this type of technology is found all over Africa. The pestle, uh, the mortar and the pestle used to pound maize so that you take that maize, put it there and grind it and make it into, and make it into powder, maize powder. So this artifact here, this machine, let me call it a machine, is used to grind soft maize, soft maize, mudokoi tapo maize. That's why you do like that. You do like that. And you grind it and you grind it into fine powder we are showing you the technology of the past we are showing you the new technology now this freezer is new technology this is fully solar powered it contains water so that the guests who come to the museum they are a little bit refreshed all right here are the solar batteries right here the solar batteries that are used to power the place this drum is very special in our language we call it boom 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 because of the type of sound it makes listen boom boom yes i mr afimas this one is also a drum that is used for ceremonial occasions it's it has a sound like a tom tom Yes, I. Big up to the you, them. Mm. So it's usually ceremonial. You just you just combine. And yes, I. So usually they use these drums to drive us out evil spirits from people this right here is our traditional bow all right this was used for hunting 
this is the arrow this is the pod that they carry the bow with but this is a modern pod but this this is the arrow back in the olden days we used to do that huh Pow! and you kill an animal so this was used for hunting i'm showing you old technologies and i'm showing you new technologies and we are trying to combine both of them to give you a proper presentation to make sure that you understand the history now this artifact here was used to drink porridge with it was used to drink porridge you pick up the porridge and drink with it it's it's, it's made from a gourd this was ornamental put by women in their hands as a form of dressing as a form of beautification this right here this little thing is used for medicine so this artifact here was used by medicine men and is still used by Mijikenda medicine men to drive out all spirits or used during those type of ceremonies this one here is used to drink mnazi it is a mnazi holder what we call it is mboko that's where we put the mnazi inside here mnazi is coconut wine we put it inside here and we drink with straw all right this one here was used to drink water with it's a traditional cup these are our type of cups that we used to drink water with so ah one last item these here are you are mall traps farm mall they are used to left in the garden and you put maize here once the mall uh, eats the maize it gets trapped on the neck so these are the type of artifacts so this is a mini museum that has just a small a fraction of our 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 community's history a fraction of our tribe's history a fraction of our coastal history that we have stored here if you want to come to the smart farm we invite you pull up to the smart farm come see these places come share our history 22 checky make sure that you email us at 22 checky at gmail.com we are going to hook you up with these places we are going to hook you up with the contact so that you can come with your family uh, the place is fully solar powered you can come with your family relax have a holiday, you know, enjoy. It's not always that you go to the beach. Sometimes you go to the farm. You come and chill with the Mijikenda. You understand our culture. All are big up to the Udem Twende to Cheki. Big up. Ruffian Records. Ask. Yes.